So it looks like either this is the last of the computer parts from my computer over there, or there's still two things to come. But I will open this up and see in a bit. By the way, the motherboard is on the bottom, and the power supply I already installed. I already installed it, that's on the top. 430 watts. But the motherboard is still in its box. What's in box number one? <gasps> it's the AMD Athlon 3.8 gigahertz processor. It's beautiful, it's heavy. Um, a little bit concerned here because the box has a dent in it. In the corner there, it's dropped. But it was underneath this plastic, which is attached all around like a glue almost. It does seem pretty secure. So let's cross our fingers and hope that it survived that drop. So that's all that was in the last box, but here's this box. We'll find out. Oh, looks like we got a graphics card and something else. Oh, we got a few things. So the 2GB of DDR5. Uh, EVGA G GTX 750 Ti, so it only uses 30 watts of power, which is great. Demands 100 watt power supply or 300 watt power supply at least, and you get the same power as if it was a normal 750. Pretty cool. Now here's something interesting: fan connector turns one fan connector into two. So my motherboard is micro ATX, and so it only has one spare fan. And I have two fans in my in my case, so that's perfect. Now this bad boy, this came in a larger one. I'm not sure what's in here. Oh, I gotta open it up. I did, I'm just excited as you are. Ah, it's a hard drive. Seagate Barracuda one terabyte. Like great deal on this too. So I didn't do a video of me unboxing the power supply, but 430 watts, 80 plus certified, don't know what that means, but it sounds like it's good. Uh, black weaving, uh, kind of like a metal fabric, weaved across all the colored cords. I also didn't do a uh, unboxing of the motherboard, but this is the Gigabyte F2A55M HD2. Has triple monitor support right out of the box, but so does my graphics card, so... If you didn't have a graphics card that had three monitor support, you could just use the motherboard. So let me just unbox this guy. I'm going to unbox him backwards so that I can see properly. Um, I think it's pretty basic. I got some talkity talk that no one talks about. And we've got the, what is it, thermal paste strip. A really cheap everything. Then, the non-cheap part, oh, that's upside down, that's not safe, get out, let's see, it should be focusing, yep, yeah. AMD Athlon sticker, as well as the processor itself, you can see the socket if you want, so now we're going to try installing her, now this is the, the first CPU I've, in, I've installed, I put I'd taken one out and put it back in, but it was Intel, and it is a pretty old, crappy computer. So there we go, touch her by the, not by the pins, not by the top, but by the sort of green-yellow sides. Now you can see there's a, I think you can see, there's a little gold arrow in the corner there. You want to line that up with the arrow on here, which is right on this side here, so I'm just going to line it up. And you drop it in. Simple as that. Don't push down. You can wiggle it around. Just make sure it's in there. Very gentle with everything. Then push it down and it's in. You can pull up. Nothing's going to happen. I'll get this guy installed by my own and I'll be back. So there's the heat sink as well as fan installed. You can now move it around just by holding on to that. So I got the motherboard lined up, but I don't quite have it screwed in, so I got my handy dandy little magnetic screwdriver, which is good for the first couple of screws, but there's a few where you need something longer, so I got this wrench rigged out here, so 
let's get to work. And that's all she wore. So we're gonna set that aside for a sec. We'll we unbox the graphics card. You just pull it out. Okay. And there's that, <laughs> I guess. And then there's a bunch of other stuff in here too. It came with a lot of cool things as well. So here's this. It's um it says EVGA enthusi enthusiast build. So it comes in black and white. These aren't together, they're separate stickers. It, there's a, a thin line right here. You can't see it, but I can. Weird monitor connection to the normal monitor connection. That's all I know. It comes with this as well as a sticker inside. Put that on the side of your case if you want. This is powered by EVGA with a little wrench that's on fire. Then we got this bad boy. Oh, too big to show you. Now, what you've wanted to see, or what I want to see anyways, the graphics card itself. This bad boy is two times the size that I thought it was going to be. This thing is fat. The protection on the, on the connection there, not something you always see, that's nice. Oh, it looks so sexy, make sure I'm getting this. There you go. This thing's huge. Uh, I guess here's my thumb. It's pretty big. Here's the back. It's, it's really thick. That's about an inch and a half. Ah, oh, man. It's beautiful. Dual fans. It's got the logo on each fan. Cooler than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to rest it on the bag there. There you go. There's the unboxing down. I'm going to install it now. And it's upside down. Why is it upside down? What? That doesn't look cool. Mm. It's in. Woo! So just a real quick thought ahead. I removed the graphics card. So I forgot to pop in the hard drive. So now the last thing to unbox is this single fan to two fan splitter. I plugged in everything. So one thing lots of people don't know with cable management is um, not only do zip ties work of course but these little bread pins. You don't, you don't always need a zip tie like this is just one cord that I've just folded over. So I guess if there's one thing I'm going to say uh, cable management only gets so good. Alright, so here's boot up. Are you ready? Alright guys, uh, she's complete, 100% working. Um, I've been gaming on her for about a week and a half. Um, she can run Minecraft at 50 frames per second. Okay, so for my setup, it's uh, it's really not, it works, but it's not matching. So I have an old Apple keyboard, and I was scared about using this, because it's Apple, and I'm using it on Windows 7. Apple button turns into Windows button. Sound works fully, um, and that does nothing. For, for sound, we have two things. My Triton triggers. The dwarf. This is the guy that makes vibrations in the surface it's on to make sound, so this whole desk just shakes. Now you might be wondering, how did I get such a clean look? Where are all the wires? Well, let me tell you. I uh, put enough slack on this so that I could go over here, here, up, down, there's no tugging. Taped it 
on the back side along with the uh, keyboard cord. So all you see are two wires coming off the end. Uh, came up with that myself actually. I'll show you the dwarf in action. I guarantee you're gonna have that song stuck in your head uh, for the rest of the week. So for uh, antivirus, I have Avast free and AVG free. Here's a list of my games. I also plan on 50% <gasps> off. I might get that. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Movie. <gasps> no. 